Good morning students how are you all hope you are fine with the grace of the almighty god so students already we have started the chapter explanation the chapter number 4 and our topic of the chapter is our beautiful country so today we will be understanding rivers and plants but what we have understood we will do just revision okay then the next part will be the question answers okay fill in the blanks and the other things so today video that is today's video will cover the explanation the final explanation that is rivers and plants this is the last explanation after that we will also do in the letter or we will do one revision okay so our beautiful country if we say about our beautiful country what is the name of the our beautiful country our beautiful country name is india so india is our beautiful country we live in the which land india right so here we were studying the girl named sonam who is a very adventurous who loves to visit place to place who loves to visit go to uh, go to visit other other place okay so we were like uh, studying the account of the sonam and also the three persons that is uh, one is reema and other is jyoti along with her there was a guide named what shila who was shila shila was a tourist who was accompanying her we was going with her on the journey so we will read the account of the sonam reema jyoti and shila so we are going to study the account what they have done what they saw okay where they stopped what kind of places they saw what are the beautiful places are there we are going to see that so let's begin but before explaining already i have made my explanation of the videos on this all i have explained a number of the times because i want that that this explanation should sit on your head and uh, directly you can memorize the question answers right because in this from this chapter only the question answers has been prepared so i want that you should prepare the question answers very properly you should learn the question answers very properly for this reason again and again i'm doing the revision so we will start with the called uh, means reading then i will read and i will come here in the part called rivers and plains today i will explain you the rivers and plains so let's start i am sonam and traveling is my passion in school i am a member of the adventurous club i always dreamed of exploring our beautiful country by road the variety of relief features of our country have always fascinated me reema and jyoti two of my classmates decided to take a road trip with me we were accompanied by shila shila was a tourist guide whom we know personally and she acted as our cheer person so our journey was a last for about 2 months on our journey we saw mountain plateaus valleys and desert let us read more about sonam account of her journey so we are going to read the sonam's account of her journey what she has done what places she has saw so we are going to read about that so let's get started okay so the our surface is uh, is not the same at every place okay in some places it is higher while at some places it is lower okay uh, this differences create the different landforms which are also referred to as the hilly features or the physical features so students this is just introduction part and i'm i told you that i am reading it the explanation of this all video means part what i am saying it i am reading it i have already made you can go and watch the previous video the link has been already given to you okay so i am reading it again once uh, this all then i will go to explain the main part today so the journey we will read the journey plateau we started our journey from bilaspur in the chatisgarh which lies in the region of the chota nagpur plateau a plateau is a flat table land which rises abruptly from the surrounding areas rich minerals deposit like iron mica and limestone are found in this region farmers in this region grow cotton and oil seeds the landscape was pictured with the orange orchards and vineyards on the way 
Plateaus can be found in each and every continent. The vegetation in the plateaus differ from one area to another. The higher plateaus are used for the sheep and cattle rearing and the lower plateaus are suitable for farming. Some plateaus are rather huge covering hundreds of kilometers. The Deccan Plateau covers more than eight states of India. A few plateaus have lots of mineral deposits. The Chota Nagpur Plateau in India has lots of coal and iron ores reserves. Apart from the bauxite, copper and manganese, some plateaus are also located in the dry regions on the lowest uh, on the leeward side of the mountains. In the some plateaus like the Colorado Plateau in the Grand Canyon, USA, one can deep gorges and canyons. At the time, plateaus have a river flowing okay, through them. The Tibetan Plateau is surrounded by mountains on all sides. Okay, in certain cases, the weather in the plateaus can be quite cold because of the height. Mining happens to be the crucial occupation in these places. So next, we are going to start with the to the desert. Their journey towards the plateau is over. Now they are in the to the desert. I want that you should also listen carefully, and you should also after my explanation, after my the, all the things will be over. You also sit and read the chapter. If you don't read the chapter, then how will you know the chapter? If there is a confusion or doubt, you can call me and you can ask me, or even even you can do one thing, you can message me out. So to the desert. After the traveling for four days, we reach Des Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, a desert region. The roads were broad and the people were wearing colorful clothes because it was the land of Rajasthan. So we stopped at the small restaurants and had a delicious Rajasthani thali. It was fascinating to see camel carts and women carrying pitchers to get water from the wells. We spent the night at the resort. Next morning, we decided to visit and uh, sand dunes, which are about 42 kilometers away from Jaisalmer. They are known as a sand. Vanu Singh Ji, our resort manager, told us that the life in the desert region was tough. There is a scarcity of rainfall and hence a scanty amount of vegetation is found there. Okay, It is difficult to lay roads and railway lines. Dust storms are common and the temperature during the summer rises up to 50 degrees Celsius. It is because of the reasons like this that few people live in the deserts. Sandstorms lead to the creation of the sand dunes which are basically small hills made from the sand. Dead plums and the kirki are the common desert plants. One can also see oases, areas where the small pools of the water can be found in the desert. It is around on the oasis that the dead plums can be seen. Deserts are normally seen on the western parts of the countries. So next we are going to start the reading with the help of the mountains. Here we come. Okay, We are going to start with the mountains. Here we come. We continued our journey towards Uttarakhand and across the important towns like Bikaner, Panipat, Mujapparnagar, Rishikesh and Uttarakashi. We covered um, almost 1200 kilometers on the National Highway 15, uh, NH15 in the bracket it is written and uh, traveled for 4 days. Okay, And we then visited the Nanda Devi National Park which is situated on the higher ranges of the Himalayas. Nanda Devi. 7,800 meters is the second highest peak in the India and the park is surrounded by the Himalayan range of the mountain on the uh, three sides. Okay, So we are uh, means reading that uh, this, this has been declared, this also has been declared as a world heritage site by the UNESCO. The Himalayas are also known as the young cold mountains because they were formed by the folding of the earth crust when two plates of or the parts of the earth move towards each other and collide the rock slowly rise to or forms the mountain. These mountains are 10 to 25 million old and have a conical shape. Okay. The mountains are land forms that are, are much higher than the surrounding area. 
they have a great height and are pretty steep as well at same time some at the times they have sharp peaks and sometimes they are little rounded the hills are very smaller with version of the mountains and the a mountain range is a collection of the mountains that are located in the close proximity to each other examples of the such mountain ranges are Andes in the South America, Rockies in the North America, Alps in Europe, and the Himalayas in Asia. Mountain ranges can be often parallel to each other and cover hundreds of the kilometers. So, students, this is the first that over that I have already told that I have I am just reading it because the explanation is made in the previous video. If you want to watch the explanation, what I am reading, then go and watch the explanation there. It is already there in the group. Link is provided in the group. Also, you can get in the YouTube channel. Okay, importance of the mountains. Okay, so now we are going to read about the importance of the mountain. The majestic mountain acts as a natural barrier and the protect our country. The mountain slopes are full of beautiful flowers, forests, and medicinal herbs. The melting snow out of the Himalaya provides the perennial water to the rivers. They protect our country from the cold winter blowing from the northern latitudes and the prevent the moisture laden winds from the southwest monsoons to the move across the China. The mountains areas have a lots of the flora and fauna and uh, even the you can say they find the minerals there. Okay, they also all happens to be some of the top tourist sites or the places. The slobs act as a rich grazing land to some important uh, Mountains are the also the storehouse of the minerals. So now we are going to understand. Now this is the next is the second part. That is the main part of the video, which I am going. This video is, will be the based on that is the rivers and the plains. So now we are going to understand and read and understand the rivers and the plains. So as we gradually moving towards Gango tree, okay, the tra terrain became very difficult. So when they were going to the Gango tree, the Gango tree is a river, right? It is uh, the terrain that areas became means the landform became totally like it is uh, not plain at all. Lots of the rocks are there. As a result, it is a very difficult to drive for them to go to the, that place. Also, walking was also uh, difficult because it is a very slippery, right? We reached the Gangotri Glacier. You see the they reached which place that is called Gangotri Glacier, okay? Which is the source of the river Ganga. So, what is the source of the river Ganga? Is called Gangotri, right? Gangotri glacier is the sources of the river Ganga. The upper part of the glacier was frozen, but it was summer time. Some parts of the glacier has melted. The upper parts of the glacier has already so cold, but the some parts of the uh, glacier started to melt because of, of that. Because it was a summer season, okay. I was amazed to see the Palestine and the clear water uh, in the upper coast where the Ganga originates. It flowed at the great speed as it rose down the mountains, as it flowed down um, and joined the plains in the middle coast. A number of the rivers joined the Ganga. The volume of the water increased and it slowed down, developing the loops of the called meanders. You see, as the means the, the sloping, sloping of the river Ganga. Okay, as the speed is coming down, the speed is increasing as it is creating meandering. Means it is creating meandering. Meandering is the process through which what happens. It is already given in the word meaning that uh, meander, meander it to follow the winding and turning course. As I told you, no, the water will come again. It will go back. The splashing type, the splashing type. Again, it will jump. Again, like waves are there. No, what I told you, waves are there. So waves are called the meandering process. Okay, uh, so it is the final in this final journey in the lower course the rivers form the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Delta and slowly meandered towards the Bay of Bengal merging into the ocean. So in the lower part of the means where what called when it comes the lower part Brahmaputra is formed then the river Brahmaputra, Ganga, Delta is formed and the different rivers and, and also it enters the Bay of Bengal also Bangladesh okay where the Padma river is there okay which is very famous in the Bangladesh whereas in the Assam the Brahmaputra is there we call the Brahmaputra but when it enters in the Bangladesh it changes the name from Brahmaputra to river Padma okay the soil deposits on the plain by the river is very fertile and rich in minerals so the soil which is depositing which is the soil which is near the river okay which is very good and even 
why the earlier tank people used to settle near the uh, what called uh, rivers because the land form or the soil near the river was very fertile and was a good good quality and the land or was so good that the means the cultivation was used to go go with the greenery and there was a lots of the green fruits was available farm was available okay so people used to take settlement mostly during that time near the rivers okay so the ganga place is drained by the yamuna the ghagra and many other rivers so the ganga plain is drained by the ganga, uh, what called ramuna then uh, also uh, ghagra okay so it is mentioned in there the fertile regions is called the flood bowel food bowel of india so the uh, land which is very good in farming or the fertile or which is the plants lots of the plants can grow there it is called the food bowel of india plains are the form when the rivers deposit their silt and soil on the banks since early times people have settled near the banks as these regions were suitable for agriculture as i told so in the earlier times i mentioned you right so i mentioned you that uh, in the earlier times people mostly settled near the rivers banks why because it was suitable for what agriculture purpose for this reason they used to take what settlement near the bank of the river bank of the river means the river side okay river side they will stay because they can get the water also food also all the things they can get easily okay plains are are low lands which cover thousands of kilometer which are mostly flat lands which with a no much change in the height at any place they are normally found in the canyons and near watch of what is like rivers so what are plains it is a low land higher land is there the now the sloping type is there now low land will be there which is very plain type right and in the low land only we are staying here and we are making our house some higher lands like plains uh, plateaus are there which are you can find in the different places also what kind of land we are staying we are staying in the plains okay a lot of the people live in the plains as opposed to mountains and the plateaus so lot of the plains but people pre- prefer to stay in which areas they sta- prefer to stay stay in the plains okay also they prefer to stay in the plateaus but the highland areas they don't prefer why because it is very high it is cold right and the transportation is or the communication is also not good in there lots of the towns and cities are also located in the plains i told you right this is because of the fertile soil plenty of water and proper transportation facilities as i have already mentioned a lot of the civilization such as the indus valley civilization developed on the river banks so students there was a nearly about 4000 years ago okay nearly about 4000 years ago there was a civilization civilization means a group of the people okay set near the river indus okay well, during that time that is called indus valley civilization and why this civilization is great because during that time people were having drainage system swimming pool okay it was a very great even we uh, still now people when they study about the indus valley civilization they think that during that time the people were very advanced as we are thinking that during that time the people were not very so much advanced but no they were very much advanced even there was a statue also which was found of the lord shiva okay it is you, i will explain you this later on you will get detail in the class 6 okay so it is easier to build roads here post train lines and the can, uh, canals in the plain so it is why people used to choose uh, used to choose to stay in the plain because it is very easy to uh, build up the transportation system transportation and the communication system is very strong on one can see large industries such as the iron and steel things after the enriching two months of the travel our journey finally ended now you see they are after uh, means uh, the journey their journey is coming to the end but at last they told what that uh, in the plain area you can see the minerals you can see the petrol industries which are producing large amount of uh, refineries means so petrol refineries are there which are like bongaigao is there which is very near to us and uh, and uh, you can say local to us right so our journey finally ended their journey when uh, I mean, journey is ended now we have already planned our next trip they have planned their next trip and then we will study what they saw what they did and would now be heading to the southern parts of the india see you there now they will be going in the next chapter we will be reading the 
साउथ एंड पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया बट टूडे वी विल नॉट स्टार्ट अप टू दिस वन नाउ यू कैन से दैट इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी और समथिंग देन यू कैन टेल मी आप ऑल्सो यू कैन मैसेज मी एंड यू कैन से द क्वेश्चन आंसर विल बी गिवन इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो ऑल्सो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स विल बी गिवन वन पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग दैट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू रिविजन यू कैन पर्सनली मैसेज मी आई कैन डू द रिविजन एंड यू कैन आई कैन अपलोड इन द यूट्यूब आई थिंक दैट यू आर ऑल स्टडिंग वेल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट द टीचर the means suppose if you have difficulty in my subject you can contact me if you have difficulty in other subjects also you can contact to the that particular teacher so thank you take care till and that bye bye